Well, here we have the results of my uh, camera pitch angle modifications. Uh, let me bring the pitch up to a, um, to a normal level and uh, show you what we're seeing here. So this adds a, a 2200 microfarad capacitor and a 700 ohm resistor, which is really my first guess as to what might be effective here. Um, and it was adequate, so I went with that. Uh, the schematic is on the page. Um, I would probably, and will probably take this apart and modify it uh, with maybe a tenth of that. This is a uh, 220 microfarad capacitor, which is about half the size of the one that I have installed inside the controller here, um, which would fit much better. So if we do that, and maybe put a 7K resistor or somewhere in that area, 10K, um, should give us a similar response. It depends on what the circuitry is downstream of it is, but I suppose it doesn't use much power. Um, that said, there's probably several different combinations that you can use. Um, this gives me about a 30 second traverse um, window between full up position and full down. Um, this is just a proportional control charging that capacitor. So as you see, if I go to a full down command, um, it's going to slowly go down, which is very nice for, for panning. Uh, the video, video you can see online is what I took just after doing this. Um, so I'm, I'm pleased with it. It's a little bit slow. I, I might uh, tweak that or even with a resistor to adjust the, the, the speed of it would be, uh, would be nice. And then we'll go up to full up position from full down. That was about 90% down. And you can see it takes about 20 to 30 seconds to, uh, to achieve the position. What I found in the first flight is that I would go the direction that I wanted, um, either full up or full down, and then stop it just by bringing it back to the position that it's had. So you can get very fine, fine movements by moving it a little bit at a time. Or if you want to traverse faster, you can go to full down and then stop it when it gets to about where you want, by positioning it about where it's going to go, and it'll finish up that movement, charge it in capacitor one way or the other. Um, I did find in the gimbal, uh, you notice in the gimbal movements here, um, it's a little jerky at, uh, um, oh, and about right there. <laughs> You'll see it in the screen here. And I believe that's the cheap gimbal because this uh, um, this voltage control mechanism is very simple. The capacitor just charges at the rate that it's uh, um, allowed to so that I'm, I'm pretty sure the control voltage going to the gimbal is steady. But the gimbal itself is not able to do these fine movements as well as it might. So maybe we have to compromise and, and let it go um, to a perhaps a five or 10 second uh, span scan rate rather than the 30 second that we're doing right now. So anyway, there you have it. It's about a 50 cent mod. If you have a couple old capacitors and a box of resistors like I do laying around at home, you can get it uh, done fairly cheap. Um, and that's about it. So hope you enjoy.